Agriculture Engineering and Appropriate Technology Center, one of National Agricultural Research Institutes, is the brain behind this fish drying clean. The fish smoking clean does not require a lot of labor since the fish can be left to dry after setting the required heat. From here, the smoke generating unit went generates the smoke. That smoke is filtered to remove those, those carcinogens from the smoke. Then after uh, filtering the smoke, it goes through this pipe. Now the filtered smoke, the safe smoke goes through this pipe, then it enters inside the dehydration chamber. So in the dehydration chamber, it goes through these pipes, then it is imparted onto the product. The Minister of State for Fisheries, Helen Adowa, launched the Modern Fish Smoking Facility at the Agriculture Engineering and Appropriate Technology Center in Wakiso. Zero! <laughs> Minister Adowa is optimistic that this fish smoking technology will increase fish exports, especially to the European Union markets. So this is going to attract us international market and also within our own uh, environment or our own uh, uh, within Uganda you find that you can be able to keep to preserve fish because you know even Ugandans themselves should not be able to to eat smelly fish where you smoke within a short time you have removed is not dry is not taking three days four days a week two weeks the cost for this machine goes up to 50 million Uganda shillings and fish dealers have been encouraged to form circles to maximize the economies of scale. Like the ones who have received it today, they, they made a partnership with the NARO. They don't pay in a day. If you pay 50%, then you will pay slowly. So it is a partner, partnership. When you clear something and then as individuals you may not be able to do it. But when you are in a group, in a circle, I want to encourage all the fishermen out there to form groups. The Director General National Agricultural Research Organization, Dr. Ambrose Agona, implored government to ensure that this technology reaches all fish dealers so that Ugandans can consume selfish fish free from disease-causing carcinogens. But you imagine if the concerns are not from out there, how about our people? And I still strongly believe, much as we are coming with these few technologies that are here, we are not going to stop eating the smoke fish. But now what must we do right? I see policy engagements, and I see a feedback by our minister to see like at the end of the day, in the meantime, first of all, how best can these technologies reach the target people? Because they're not just protecting them, but they're protecting the society, the whole country. After acquiring modern fake smoking technology, fish dealers are now calling on government to connect them to export markets. Adiana Kuti, UBC. <laughs>